T Rex here, and this is the fourth time I, I'm recording this. Uh, so I've just got got back from uh the outdoors, and I've been outside for a really long time. So that's why I did not make any videos earlier in the day, but uh. Anyway, I'm comparing the 2015 Ant-Man to the 2018 Ant-Man. I do not have the 2019 Ant-Man, but to be honest, I don't like the fact that it has a print uh, on it for the helmet. But that's just my opinion. Um, and before, and before uh, I start talking about the figures, I'd just like to say that... Um, Please do not judge these figure. Please do not judge your opinion off of uh, the helmet because I know it's not uh, as accurate because of that uh, mouth that is sticking out. If this can go and focus, focus. Uh, so so I know it's not the most accurate. But if if you actually think that it actually looks bad, that's your opinion and that's fine. But if you're saying it looks bad just because it's not accurate, I don't understand. But uh, anyway, I just want to say that. I already have a video on that. But anyway, uh... We're starting off with the 2015 Ant-Man, which is one of my favorite figures of all time. I really love this figure with, with the belt. I really like that. And if this could go in focus, that would be good. Finally. Um, I really like the legs. Uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, but I just really love that torso. Uh, the back looks really nice, and you can just see how much detail there are on the torso, so I really like that. Also, I think this figure costs about 30 something dollars on Amazon.com uh, a year ago, but I checked last week, and it went down $20, so that kind of shocked me. But, uh, that, that gave me a chance to get this figure, because I had this figure before, and the whole set, but I lost this figure, which made me very disappointed, and it took a long time for me to get this figure back. So, again, really nice detailing, I really like this figure. And on to the 2018, but I'm sorry, I was going to say Batman for some reason. Uh, the 2018 Ant-Man. Uh, oh, actually I forgot to show the face. I don't know how I forgot that. Uh, I think this is a reused head from, uh, Ezra, I believe that was the name, from the... Star Wars Rebels sets. I do not have those sets. But either way, I still like the face. Uh, I like, I like the alternate expression. And I like that, uh, whole smile there. Back to the 2018 Ant-Man. Again, using nice leg printing. <coughs> Sorry. And again, with a nice belt. I think it's actually more detailed than the original. Uh, it looks like it. The back looks really nice. And to be honest, I prefer this back over this back. Uh, just, just because of that, just, just because of that, uh, I don't know, I just really like the, the back of this. I prefer that more than the 2015 one but that's just my opinion but again 
this torso is really nice. I really like the detailing. Uh, and for the head, which I remembered this time, um, you can see it is actually the Peter Parker head from Spider-Man Far From Home sets, but this head was used first on Ant-Man. Uh, so, I guess we, since we already unmasked the, I guess since we already have the heads out, we might as well start comparing with the heads. You can see that his mouth is more open here, and this is just like a smirk. So, and also the eyebrows are brown here, and they're black on the original. And for the alternative expressions, uh, so for the alternative expression, uh, I really like this alternative expression. Uh, that has a more serious or concerned look. As for that, it has more of a shocked or a scared look, uh, which I th really think works for uh, his role in the movie because he is uh, 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 really funny in Ant-Man and the Wasp and uh, the original Ant-Man movie, so uh, it makes sense why he has that shocked expression. But I really like the smile there, and to be honest, I like I prefer this over this, but I prefer the smile on the original with the helmet, uh, more, more than the smile on the new one with the helmet. But again, it's just my opinion, and uh, putting the helmets back on. They are exactly the same. I really like this helmet. Uh, it's a very nice mold in my opinion. But, uh, comparing the legs, uh, the newer ones have more, uh, detail. But, they're both really good. I, to be honest, I don't know what I would say is better. Uh, I guess I'll just think about it in the future. But now for the hardest bar part, which is the torso, which I already mentioned, I I prefer this one more than this one for the back of the torso. Even though this one I think has more detail. But for the front of the torso, which one do I like better? This is going to be kind of tough. Uh, so, to be honest, I think this one is better, to be honest. I, I mean, just with that belt and that more simple look, uh, I just really like this torso. Uh, it's it was kind of hard to choose for a second, but just thinking about it, I like this one more. But again, that is just my opinion. Now, before we end this video, I'm going to put these away for a second so that I can make the perfect Ant-Man uh, for me. And, uh, we're going to hold on for a second. Uh, I'm not changing the ha hands, which, by the way, the hands are different. The original had gray hands, which the 2018 version has, uh, black hands. So, uh, okay. And here's what it ended up looking like.
anyway, uh, that's it. Bye.